Hoorah Vita! It's Hoorah Vita. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Spanish we, instructor. You're welcome. Bienvenos. That's not it. <laughs> we finally made it. Our flight was delayed by two and two hours and some change. And we got to the airport. We found our um, car rental dude. He shuttled us to the car rental place. And it was so easy peasy because we um, booked it through my10feet.com and we got a discount and we got insurance and we knew exactly what to expect. We got a free second driver, so we were on the road. Wish us luck, we have a four hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> morning it is 6 52 a.m here in costa rica <laughs> we had a treacherous <laughs> journey coming in last night so we were supposed to be about four hours from san jose the airport and um it ended up taking us about five and a half because it was raining and foggy and scary <laughs> and we couldn't dark. see the road it was dark <laughs> so we took our time but now we are getting ready to go get some breakfast and after breakfast we're going to go zip lining zip lining in the jungle we just found a little place online last night called cafe rica and it's literally a hole in the fence 896 good reviews on TripAdvisor. They have five stars and that many reviews, so it better be good. Walking to the bus stop right now to, or not the bus stop, to a hotel where we're gonna pick up, get picked up by a shuttle to go zip line in. Zip line in.
Just got done zip lining. That shit was awesome. <laughs> it was the most epic thing I've ever done. It was. I mean, and look at this view. Like, look at it. That was so much fun. It was worth every penny. Which wasn't that many pennies. No, it was actually a really good deal. We tipped them well because they were just they were just great people. Yeah, and they ended up being just me and Wes. Um, usually he said that there is a group of about 23, but ended up being just me and Wes. So we got our own private zip lining tour through the jungle, which was epic. And Ooh. now we're going to go get some beautiful tacos. Tacos in my belly. Just ate lunch, some of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. And the guy, oh wow, the guy that served us told us about this little secret hidden pathway back here. So we're just kind of roaming into the wilderness here. And he said it's a very good viewpoint. found the spot that the Tasty Waves taco guy told us about and it is awesome. Epic. It's so beautiful.
We just had breakfast at Bread and Chocolate. So um, good. Had some yummy bread so and bagels. And they, the bagels were like... <laughs> they make all their own bread and waffles and stuff like that. So we're back now. We did a little bit of digesting and now we're about to go snorkeling. Snorkeling. The first beach we're gonna go to is called Playa Chiquita. So here we go. Just got done checking out Playa Chiquita and it was too rough. Way too rough. No bueno. And way too shallow. And then we stopped by Punta Uva, Uva, which is another beach that's good for snorkeling. And it is, they're both beautiful. Punta Uva is actually a little bit prettier, I think, and more enjoyable. But we've decided we're gonna go to waterfalls instead. Waterfall time. 